Hello ladies and gentlemen, Willie here. With Blackwing Lair announced to release on the 12th of February, now seems like a good time to check out what can drop in there for your class. Of course, it being a new raid, most of the items that drop in there are going to be an upgrade of some form, but potentially some more so than others. I always enjoy looking through loot and theory crafting what may be possible with certain item combos, as well as considering class interactions in the future. Not only does each class get the remainder of tier 2 in Blackwing Lair, but everyone also gets a class specific trinket, which range from meme value to super strong. So let's check out the tier sets for each class, both their bonuses and looks, as well as the class trinket that are available from BWL, as well as which bosses you get them from. And just so you know for the tier, braces are from Razorgore, Chest, Nefarian, Gauntlets are from any of the three Drake encounters, Flamegore, Ebonrock, or Firemore, the Helms from Anixia, Legs of Ragnaros, Shoulders from Magus, boots are from Broodlord Lashlayer, and the belt is from Veilstraz. Okay, so let's start with plate and work our way down to cloth. Starting with the Warrior, tier 2 is the Battle Gear of Wrath. Very iconic looking set, really stands out. Big shoulders, of course, which is essential for any Warrior tier. Just like tier 1, this is centered around being more defensively oriented. Blizzard wanted Warriors to be tanks, it seems. The bonuses on many of the items either have defense or extra block value on your shield. The itemization of this set is very solid and we'll see you pretty much all the way to Naxxramas where it is eventually replaced by tier 3. The set bonuses are a bit more general for the warrior rather than being all solely used for tanking. All the same they do fit the tank job very well. The 3 set giving a bit more AP from Battle Shouts, alright, 5 set giving a 1 in 5 chance for a subsequent rage costing ability to be reduced by 5, and finally the 8 set giving 4% chance to parry after a block. Decent extra, there's nothing too particular to remark upon though. The trinket for warriors is the life giving gem which comes from Broodlord Lashlayer. Very nice item here, especially for PvP could be used on risky tank fights on progress if that becomes an issue at all. The big bonus here is that it's a percentage effect and I'm going to mention this a few times but percentage effects are the best effects because they scale up with your gear and sometimes even into different expansions. A 5 minute cooldown for this effect isn't half bad too, it's like your own little hellstone. I'd be pretty happy about picking this one up. Paladin tier 2 is the Judgment armor set and one of my absolute favourite sets to ever exist. Even in the game today you see loads of Paladins rocking this and it's easy to see why big fan of this set. Stats wise it's a bit weird and all over the place to be honest. Instead of just straight plus healing like the majority of tier 1 this also has a lot of spell power thrown in as well making it in kind of a strange place where it can fit every Paladin spec to some extent. Ret and Proc can get a good bit of use from the spell power and strength on this set too. The thing is there are better non tier alternatives for every spec in every slot as far as I know, but this offers a mix that should allow you to still be very effective in any content role. Where this set really excels is either soloing content, dungeon grinding, boosting people, or PvP, where you're making use of every single stat on this set. The 3 set gives your auras 10 extra yards in range. Not bad this, this exact effect was actually made a talent later in TBC. The 5 sets plus 47 spell damage, which is a huge number, big bonus for hitting the 5 set. The 8 set does some more damage on your your judgment and if I'm reading it right which I'm not entirely sure I am pretty underwhelming for an 8 set 60 extra damage meh the Paladin class trinket are the Scrolls of Binding Light from Firemore, plus 25% attack speed and 33% casting speed for 20 seconds, 5 minute cooldown. Pretty solid to be honest, as mentioned for the Warrior, this is a percentage effect meaning it scales up with you. Fights are currently pretty short, anything that makes you do what your class can do faster is really good at the moment. The attack speed would scale up well with the likes of Hand of Justice or potentially even using Seal of Righteousness. Cast aside, you tend not to really need to pump the heals that hard at the moment unless you're going for some few healer strats on certain bosses. It has potential though. Also it reads casting speed so I'm guessing you're going to have the fastest resurrect out of anyone. Now that is some utility. Plate done, let's talk mail. Hunters have gone from giant stalker to dragon stalker as their tier 2. Hunters are one of those classes where the tier gear is more or less always the best thing you can have. Not only that but you pretty much want 8 out of 8 of it as well, making your gearing process pretty simple, albeit one that can take longer than on other classes to get that full set. Also you get the benefit of your bis always looking sharp, it's a nice set, it stands out well. The 3 set's a bit more attack power, which is nice I guess. 5 set is an upgraded version of tier 1, making your pet more durable, which is great since they have a tendency to drop in a few seconds on certain bosses. Also it makes them super annoying in PvP for casters when combined with resistance training. The 8 set is a very solid debuff, affects range attacks only, so the more hunters the better. Make sure that you have the leeway for this debuff on your target in a raid since debuff slots are limited in classic. 
The trinket for hunters is the arcane infused gem from Razorgore. It doesn't look too great to be honest, gives your next arcane shot an AoE effect that deals around 200 damage. Pretty small amount of AoE for a 2 minute cooldown, I can't really think of a good way to make use of this where you'd need a small burst of AoE every 2 minutes. Hunters tend not to use arcane shot too much anyway since it shares a cooldown with aim shot. Not exactly top of the priority list this one. The shaman tier 2 set is 10 storms, super good looking set, has some nice extra lightning looking effects on it too making it really stand out. This set is focused around a mix of elemental stats and restoration. No help for enhancements at all unfortunately, there's no agility or strength on any of this tier. There is however a mix between healing and spell power on the different items, so both caster shaman specializations get some nice items. The 3 set is the most powerful bonus on this tier, improving throughput from chain heal by a good amount. The 5 set giving a bit more crit on nature spells, this will include damage and healing of course. Bit of a shame this isn't on the free set so Elemental could have accessed it a bit easier though. The 8 set has a chance to put Lightning Shield on the target that will proc for 50 damage. A bit of extra threat for the tank I suppose, not exactly great for an 8 set but it does have a decently high proc chance at least. The trinket for the Shaman is the Natural Alignment Crystal from Firemore. 20% extra spell damage and healing but spells cost 20% more, still no love for enhancement this tier I guess. Very solid item, more for Elemental than Restoration. The main worry is that hoping bosses will go down before your mana bar does though since it increases the cost of spells on a class that already goes through its mana bar super fast. Stock up on dark runes and major mana potions. Druid now and just like tier 1, tier 2 is all about healing. Looks wise it's pretty solid and since you don't have a form as restoration you get to take full advantage of that. The 3 set is very powerful allowing 15% of mana to continue regenerating during combat. Add this onto the 15% you already get from talents for a 30% in combat regen. This will help your mana a nice amount during longer fights. The 5 set reduces the cast time of regrowth a little bit which doesn't really tend to be used since its mana cost is just so high. The 8 set gives you rejuvenation another tick, it's already one of your more efficient heals especially if it runs its full duration making it that much better. Not bad for an 8 set. The trinket is actually really interesting in removing the mana cost of shapeshifting entirely for 20 seconds and it's dropped via Veilstraz. It has potential to be bis if it allows you to continue power shifting on fights where you would usually have gone out of mana a long time ago and even with the shape-shifting talent, shifting isn't cheap on your mana bar and you can go through it super fast. Also having this item in PvP would be really great in some scenarios, especially against mages since you can shift all their slows. It will literally save you thousands of mana in a fight with a mage. It's a pretty fun item, I'd be happy to pick this one up. Rogue is the next up, Bloodfang is the tier, another iconic looking set. Honestly I'm going to say this a bunch about tier 2 overall in the looks department, but there isn't really a loser anywhere, each one is super nice. Set bonus wise, 3 items gives you a small extra chance to apply poisons, which is okay I guess. 5 set more threat reduction from faint. Once again, it's just okay. You already have vanish and faint baseline, probably doing enough work to keep you low enough on the threat meter. It's not bad though by any means. 8 set is an on hit proc, 5% from what I could find, does a nice little bit of damage and heals you 300 over 6 seconds. So it's pretty solid proc actually. Despite them being okay, they're only going to add a very little amount to your damage. The trinket from Brutal Lash Layer is the Venomous Totem, giving your poisons a 30% extra chance to apply for 20 seconds. Sort of like 3 set on this tier, poisons don't do a whole lot of your damage when compared to what other trinkets you could have equipped instead. It may still be decent on instant poison on short fights, maybe I'm damn rating it a bit more than it deserves though. For Priest, tier 2 are the Vestiments of Transcendence. Nice particle effects, it just looks priestly, you know, like a light theme, what's not to like here? And just like tier 1, it's really dedicated to here. Healing. The 3 set is the exact same as for Druid, 15% mana regen in combat and just like Druid you will most likely have 15% already talented for a nice 30% during combat. Very nice overall, this will carry you through to later game content no problem. The 5 set is a 50% chance of fade to be procced on melee hit, very nice in PvE, can save you time and reaction of actually pressing your own fade, decent bonus. The 8 set gives you a greater heal, a heal over time equal to a rank 5 renew making the already strong on throughput priest even even better. Doesn't matter if you're damn ranking greater heal, you still get a renew, so very nice 8 set for the priest. The trinket from Ebonrock is super interesting actually, 500 armor and a heal for 35 each time you take melee or ranged damage. This is definitely more of a PvP item, in PvE you really never want to be here ever. It should do well against rogue warriors or hunters, reducing their damage by a small amount as well as healing you a little bit. It's a good item for when you get focus, which as a priest you will be. Mage now and who would have thought but for once mage 
mages get something that's really good. Wow, it's almost like mages get something really good every tier. The tier two is the Netherwind Regalia, and it's actually one of my less preferred looking tier two sets. Not to say it's bad by any means, but the tier overall is just so good that you have to be pretty amazing to stand out. The full set will yield 204 spell power, and unfortunately there's no spell hits on it, so you'll have to get that from elsewhere. Tier three reduces threat from all your main spells. Looking into it, there are reports that different spells had different threat reductions, which is kind of weird. Either way, less threat equals very good, especially on a three set for PvE. The five set is 25% higher radius on some of your AoE spells. Once again, very good. Radius being improved is always what you want since it's expanding in a bunch of different directions at once, making it an even bigger deal than it sounds. The eight set is a 10% chance to get presence of mind on your main spell casts as a proc. I mean, do I need to say any more? This is giving your spell casts a chance to proc a talent that is way down in the arcane tree that has a three minute cooldown. As a one in 10, it's insane. Would you have guessed it, but the trinket is also nuts. I'm so glad mages are finally getting the love they deserve this patch. The mind quickening gem from Veilstravs gives plus 33% casting speed for 20 seconds on use. This is essentially your own little version of heroism, slightly shorter duration, huge DPS boost, amazing in all content. If you want to pick this up sooner than later, it won't be replaced until late in next Ramus. Finally, the warlock who get the nemesis, Raymond. Once again, no hit on this set. Just like the mage, it's a decent looking set, not one of the better ones for me. And that's coming from a lock player, by the way. The three set gives plus 23 spell power, which is okay. Could have used something a bit more exciting, but it's functional at least. The five set makes your pet into a nightmare for casters to kill off in PvP giving it 20 more stamina and 130 extra spell resistances. Add on the Master Demonologist talent to your Fell Hunter, and it will have an additional 190 in all resistances on top of the 120 it's got baseline, making it not even worth the time to target in PvP. In PvE, this can often help your pet live through more challenging or dangerous encounters with more constant damage. It's a pretty decent bonus overall. The 8 set has Blizzard acknowledging the fact that Warlocks really need some way to reduce their threat. Unfortunately, they locked it behind the eight set. Almost helpful Blizzard. Almost. If you can get it, it's obviously fantastic in PvE, more so on Horde where you don't get Blessing of Salvation. The Trinket has great meme value, improving your pet's armor and damage by 100% for 30 seconds and is dropped by Razorgore. This can make your Fell Hunter even more of an annoyance in PvP duels. Doubling its damage, it actually starts to hurt a decent amount. In PvE, we have some, what I'm going to call interesting options. Even with the extra resistances and stamina your pet has with the five set, it's still probably going to fall over in any encounter where it takes damage. All the same, there are two talents that improve the effectiveness of your imp or succubus's damage output. There's also a trinket from Diamond East that gives your imp's fireballs a bit more damage. When combined with this trinket, your pet can do decent damage. The imp tends to go out of mana very fast though, and the succubus has the durability of a piece of paper in a cement mixer. Still, it's fun to think about what's possible. Also, if this trinket remains unchanged in TBC, then this could make your fell guard pretty obnoxious. We'll have to wait and see what happens on that one. So that's every class, tier, and trinket. As mentioned, some are good, some are, you know, not so good. They're okay. The usual suspects are getting the best items, of course. Anyways, are you looking forward to picking up any of these items? I kind of want the lock trinket to mess about with it for fun, personally. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I will see you in the next one. If you like what you see, give the video a like and subscribe, as there's plenty more to come. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Bye.